All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Uh, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. I appreciate it so much. And I am back within just a few minutes. I want to see if I fixed it. I'm not sure, but we'll try it. But I wanted you to hear this, and we'll see if we can get it to work this time. Okay, now let's try this. Don't worry about Joe. He doesn't pay much attention. Because in the middle of Biden's undeserved victory lap of the so called Inflation Reduction Act, even CNN interrupts him to announce a massive stock market dive due to, wait for it, inflation. Of course, he and his cronies will never admit to these massive failures. It's September 14th, and this is the breakdown. There is a purple fizzy drink that can kill belly and arm fat overnight. I don't want to hear that. So you're going to have to cut this off. We're going to take a break right here because there's a commercial. So hang on. I'll be right back. There we are. Before we get started, I've got a question for you. I'd love to get your reaction, and I hope you'll include it in the comment section below. Here's the question. Biden celebrated this inflation-fighting bill yesterday, even as the stock market tanked. Are you actually paying less for things that you buy compared to two years ago? Simple question. Are you paying less than you paid two years ago for stuff? I hope you'll leave your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll be sure to read them, and I'm anxious to see how you feel about the inflation-fighting bill. And if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. And be sure to leave us a like as well. Well, we have a number of things we want to take a look at. Yesterday really was a surreal day. The stock market tanks because inflation is at a 40-year high. Uh, it continues to climb even more than economists had predicted. So it was a disastrous day for the economy. What does Joe Biden do? Does he go out and say, well, it's going to get better? No, none of that. What Joe Biden does is he goes out to the podium and he holds a pep rally. This is like holding a pep rally for a team that just lost the game 64 to nothing. This bill cut costs for families. Help reduce inflation at the kitchen table. That's not true. Nobody's seeing their cost cut at the kitchen table. What they're seeing cut at the kitchen table is that they aren't able to afford the very food that they could have afforded a year ago. They're not buying bacon and butter and bread at the same prices. It's going up, not down. And Joe Biden is out there standing and flat-footed saying, oh, it's really going well. It's like he's the captain of the Titanic, and he goes out on the deck as the ship is sinking and says, guys, got great news for you. Free ice cubes for everybody. That's how insane this is. But it gets worse. Uh, Biden, as he's speaking, in the middle of his speech, of all networks, CNN says, there is this unfortunate split screen and what he's looking at is the Dow taking a total beating. It's kind of hard to be celebratory for some people. Let's watch. Okay, you're listening there to President Biden at the White House. He's celebrating the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act. He says that he's been fighting Big Pharma for decades. Um, but there is this unfortunate split screen right now with the Dow taking a total beating, down more than 1,200 points. And so it feels like uh, it's hard to be celebratory for some people from in the crowd. Well, it wasn't hard for Joe Biden to be celebratory. There he was, standing there telling us how great a job he's doing. As even on the screen at CNN, it shows the Dow had dropped over 1,200 points. That is a huge, let me just say, a huge drop. And if you're thinking, well, that doesn't really affect me. I'm, I'm not a stock market guy. Let me ask you something. Do you have a 401k? Because if you do, it affected you a big way yesterday. I advise you, don't look at your 401k on a day-to-day -day basis. It'll make you sick. Over the long haul, you'll probably be okay. But if you're in retirement and your retirement checks are dependent upon your 401k, dependent upon the market conditions, you took a drubbing yesterday, 
And not only are your grocery prices up substantially, but your paycheck with which to buy them is substantially down. Well, let's go to the White House, because our ever-faithful and reliable Corrine Jean-Pierre tells us that, don't worry, be happy. Things are going well. Overall, uh, prices have been essentially flat in our country these, these last two months. Now, there, there's a big disconnect here. Uh, you, you could say, if you looked at the overall picture, that some prices are flat, mainly because what had been sky-high energy prices had started to go down. Now, they're not down to where they were when Joe Biden took office, not even close. But the reason they've gone down is two things. Joe Biden basically drained the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which was never supposed to be used for this purpose. And the other reason is a lot of people, because of the high fuel prices, just quit going places. They cut back, so the prices are down. Inflation was still 8.5% and 8.3% for July and August, respectively. Likely to get much worse with the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act, which is anything but that. Here's Corrine Jean-Pierre once again trying to, I guess, dig her way out of a very deep hole. What? Hey, so check it out. This is a... Mer okay, we're going to take a little break here right now. Another commercial. So let's go and pause for a second. Be right back. So I, I when you look at um, the lowering costs in particular, uh, for uh, for Americans, I think that's important when you think about how inflation uh, has uh, has increased uh, costs. Rarely have I heard someone in a high level position say so little and do it with such attempted authority, but coming across like an absolute buffoon. That was the most meaningless, ridiculous statement I've heard from a podium in a long time. A podium anywhere of any kind, and this is the White House podium. Go back and listen to it. What did she say? Basically nothing. And you can always tell when she's absolutely, totally over her head and the water has, has engulfed her because she starts shifting from one foot to the other. She puts up her hand and she starts the sentence with, so, so, and then she says nothing. Absolute mumbling. I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm being so difficult on her, but we're paying her salary. And I'd like a little better answer than the one where she just says nothing. MSNBC, Stephanie Rule from uh, MSNBC, is talking about how that the Biden inflation is wiping out any wage gains. So this talk about, well, wages are up. Not really. It sure is, Jose, and that's why people are so frustrated right now. Things like eggs, milk, butter, you've got to buy those things every week to keep your family in good shape. And the fact that they're up that much, even though wages are up, they're simply not up in line. And you can be saying, hey, I got this raise. Your raise means nothing if you had to spend it all on milk, eggs, and bacon. Yep. So that's the end of that now. Yep. That poor lady, though, at the at the White House, you know, she's just new, and I think she's just getting buried, and she don't know how to get out of it. You know, uh, I would hate to be in her shoes. She's trying so hard to keep up, but it's just a mess. Biden has done nothing but created a whole great big tragedy for this whole wide world. You know, I just can't... Uh, believe he's still in office but that's just me okay well I'm going to uh, get this downloaded get it uh, posted and um, but you know we're still not looking good I don't you know I don't care how anybody looks at it but I don't see any positivity at all yet we got to hope and pray we will soon that's all we can do. Yep, that's all we can do. So, I'll talk to you all later. Probably this evening sometime. I'll dig up some more stuff if I can. Bye. God love you. Stay safe.